Coming to you from Homebrew Studios, it's Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour with your hosts, Bob Katie and John Piccarillo and Jay Smith. Welcome to episode 155 of Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Welcome aboard, folks. La dee da. <laughs> La dee da. La dee da. Song bitch. I just feel punchy today. This is going to be a first beer of. Why do you want that beer so bad? Because he's thirsty. First beer, what? <laughs> In a couple of days. You didn't drink beer last night? No. Really? No. Yeah. You don't have your other partner with you either tonight. Well, I have a new partner, and I didn't think it was a good idea if we're going to drink yeah. some heavy beer. Oh, yeah. Oh. I finished by the old partner. Yeah. But the the uh, Fireball hmm. has evidence of sweetness, which yeah. means sugar. And, I, you know, it wasn't giving me a hangover or anything, but... A lot of sugar in my booze is a bad combination. It just just isn't a good combination. But what you don't see is all the years of hard work and dedication it took to make me the happy-go-lucky, drunken ass wrangler I am today. That's right. That's right. That's right. So I have it. I, I guess I can't. I can't get into this without. John is a happy-go-lucky ass, uh, ass drunken ass wrangler. I I can't continue with this conversation until it's my turn to do uh, my word of the day. Actually, one more peep out of you, and you are grounded, Mister. And I am not joking. <laughs> so anyway, the same reason I was doing Fireball, uh, I've just been bloated, yeah. and beer obviously adds to that feeling. So. Bloat. So I've been going with a little bit heavier, heavier booze. Yeah. Yeah. So we can't see it. And, well, it's not it's just that. It's my the way I feel. Like I think the really thing that set me over the top is to put you over the edge. I have um I'm going to my nephew's confirmation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And uh I have a limited amount of nice clothes. <laughs> and I went to put on my fancy pants. And boy, I was not comfortable at all. And I don't remember my my weight is not really over. It's mm. kind of in the ballpark of where I've been hanging out, but it's not a tumor. I, I feel like I'm, <laughs> I'm kind of just bloated. It's ever since my surgery, ever since then, I've got this thing in my mind like something's wrong. Because when he got in there with the scope inside, that's when they put the old pipe in the pecker because he said I had so much fluid in my bladder. So I wonder if I'm walking around with a big bloated bladder maybe they left something inside you no 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 because that thing drained me i mean that thing drained me like 10 pounds and i was i was i was skinny everywhere even in my ankles i was like maybe maybe it's so maybe it's sodium well i've been thinking maybe Mm -hmm. i i want to talk to the doctor because i mean the pills i take include a slight water pill but maybe i need more of a water pill or something you know so Yeah. yeah so anyway that's i've been feeling just bloated doesn't help that i just ate four pieces of pizza too no that's the that's the sodium (laughs) let me think yeah that's high in the sodium yeah well you know you just can't win with it you know you can't you can't get everything out of the but what you don't see is all the years of hard work and dedication it took to make me the happy-go-lucky drunken ass wrangler i am today And the other thing is I start a lot of work. I start reading about bloated things and things that can bloat you. One of them is legumes, you know, beans and stuff. Mm -hmm. Uh And because of the leftover ham from Easter, we've been having like split ham, ham alone too. Bean, and then the salt of the ham. I'm just, Mm. I'm just bloated. Well, you you should you you should um, experiment on yourself. I am. I'm drinking heavy booze. (laughs) <laughs> and I actually I got to the gym for the first time in a long time. That goes a long way. It makes me happy. I'm smiling. See? <laughs> no, but you should good. experiment yourself and like for like two days or something, eat foods that have l- very tiny or l- no amounts of sodium. Well, I try, but you know, it always gets snuck in there. 
Like sometimes I'll have something like I didn't have time to leave work. That's my SOP if I don't like what they have. So I actually got Managot. They mm -hmm. had it. Now I'm Italian. I have the best at my parents' house. So I normally don't get it at a cafeteria or a restaurant, mm -hmm. but I got it. And uh, when I finished it, it's the last thing I'm thinking about sodium. But when I'm done, I'm like, oh, yeah, I, I I've was become, salty. <laughs> I've become a lot more sensitive to sodium. Sensitive. Yeah. Yeah, like certain things will definitely like make me like. I'm definitely getting old. I'm taking naps yeah. and all kinds of crazy shit now. It's weird. <laughs> Again, but what you don't see is all the years of hard work and dedication it took to make me the happy-go-lucky, drunken ass wrangler I am today. That's right. That's right. Yeah, old age is definitely. Uh, it is a point. All kinds of things happen you never expect. Yep. Just like I did that workout, but then yeah. coming down the stairs, did you hear me ooing and on my <laughs> yeah. knees? Like, hey, what are you doing today? Yeah, talk about my <laughs> knees have been killing me for a month now, and I don't even know what I did. It's just I woke up one day and my knees killing me. <sighs> It's not a tumor. Yes. <laughs> My knee was killing me for a while, and then the strangest thing is I felt the worst pain in the car. Hmm. I scooted the seat up a little bit so I rest my knee uh, and stop. Away. Yeah, yeah. It's crazy. <laughs> Silliest thing. Back goes Serrano. He'll need a rocket up his ass to catch this one. <laughs> See some new drops today. Oh, plenty. Oh, plenty. Uh, oh, good. Glad to know you were working down here with all that music blasting. <laughs> oh no! No, <sighs> that was earlier. Hey, I got an idea. Why don't you just kiss my left nut? Oh, I remember that one. Sorry, my finger hit the button by accident. What were you saying? <laughs> hey. Oh boy! So yeah, workout today was good. I also uh... one more peep out of you, and you are grounded, Mister. And I am not joking. Okay, you know, John, your word of the I, day. When I start oh, already. It's when, actually, this is when it probably should be. <laughs> right with the conversation we've been talking about, <laughs> I wanted a substitute for the fireball. Mm -hmm. Fireball. So I wanted something that wasn't sweet, something that had a good kick, but something I remember enjoying. Mm -hmm. So I got myself a some good old-fashioned <laughs> Canadian club whiskey. So today's word of the day, because I looked it up in Italian, how do you say whiskey in Italian? And the funny thing about it is you say whiskey. Uh oh. <laughs> so the word of the day is whiskey? So the word of the day is whiskey. Wow. Yeah. Incredible shit there. <laughs> but I'm enjoying it. On the rocks, a little sipping, mm -hmm. you know? And I, I, don't, I don't have to drink as many things. I, you know, a couple glasses of wine and a couple mm -hmm. whiskeys. I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. Yeah, so sure. good. Back goes Serrano. He'll need a rocket up his ass to catch this one. <laughs> I love that one. Any, uh, did you do any research on where it came from or anything? No, uh, no I probably should have. Probably should have. <laughs> yeah, probably should have. <laughs> whiskey is just whiskey in any language. <laughs> I could probably do it. In it's the international yeah, language. Just, well, isn't whiskey was, isn't whiskey primarily American? I don't know. I'm not real sure. Well, there's I'm there's betting there's it Irish is. Whiskey. It's not my word of the day. <laughs> what? It's not my word of the day. I don't know. <laughs> well, I was just looking well, for because the word. I never did the research. Well, because you always you, you always hear people say, "Oh, you Americans and your whiskey." Yeah, you know what I mean? I guess. Yeah, I think it is. I mean, I don't know. I don't really know. The, I mean, other than Not Irish really whiskey, yet. you don't really yeah. hear much of the rest of the world drinking whiskey. Mm. Okay. I don't know. I'll, here, I, I got maybe, a Wikipedia. Maybe, it's right here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Well, it's distilled. We knew that. Uh -huh. Made from fermented grain and mash, various grains, mm -hmm. which may be malted. It's a lot like beer sounding. Mm -hmm. But except the distillation, of course. Oh, yeah. It has to be distilled. Uh, whiskey is... Uh, well, well, Etymology. <laughs> Jake can't get around his microphone. Oh, oh. What'd you do? Tap you. it? Yeah. I'm all punchy dunk. today. I slept good. So I'm like on crack today. Jay's <laughs> transitioning. Mm. Well, the root. All night I slept. The root word is uh, whisk. Gaelic. <laughs> it's a Gaelic word. Yeah, I think I think it originally. So originated, originated in Ireland. <laughs> I, Irish, Sounds yeah, like I you think. have a dick in your mouth. <laughs> so I think it's got, I think it's got Irish roots. Irish. Yep. Yep. 
it's it all goes back to water. Huh. Well, meaning water. Yeah, because yeah, I think it starts off kind of like beer. I think you you yeah. pretty much make a beer kind of. It so does, we can make whiskey. I it doesn't give an, the origin of. Well, is isn't. Uh, and then I think you just distill it afterwards. Well, what's moon, uh, moon is moonshine is a variation of whiskey, the isn't style, it? Kind yeah, of style. Whiskey, a type of whiskey. Yeah. Yep. Those crazy Irish pri- primarily. I think uh, I can't believe they don't say like the ori- ori- original. Scotch one. is the internationally recognized term for Scotch whiskey, but they are completely two different things. It's not Scotch, it's just crap. <laughs> it's crap. <laughs> yeah, Scotch is crap. <laughs> Uh, because I can drink whiskey, but I scotch. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. I think I can drink scotch. <laughs> you can drink anything. That's true. I can do it. <laughs> that reminds me. I got very angry. Mm, oh, you're all angry now. When I awoke from my slumber <laughs> and found dinner, I went to get some Pepsi. And I needed goddamn pliers to open it up. <laughs> Bob likes to tighten it so much so it doesn't get. In you get a two liter fish. bottle, mm-hmm. and you don't want the, you know, mm-hmm. the what's the big, the two liter bottles are great because they're cheap, but what's the bad thing about them? They go flat. Uh-huh. So he brings the bottle out into the garage and puts no, the twice grips on. It. <laughs> I just. I, <laughs> I just tighten it, and everybody in the ho- him and Linda are like little pussies or something. Hey, can, 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 when I just wake up, Rene I don't have. Renee does that too. She has a, she has a grip of a fifty-ton gorilla. Because like, anytime there we have a bottle, they're like, "What the hell did you do to this?" She like, goes, "I can never get a bottle and tighten." She goes, "Retard strength." Oh, she does. She tightens the bottle. I'm like. You're not going <laughs> flat on me. <laughs> she does I'm sorry. She doesn't mean to do it. Yeah, it's uh, yeah. I don't know. Maybe it's got to squeeze right that. in here if my thighs will let me. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> <laughs> yep. ah, right there, right there. God so, damn it! Uh, how was the trip? Yes, we didn't. Uh, John went on vacation yeah. to Washington D.C. with Samantha, his daughter. Just see Bob's recommended uh, sites. Some we did. Uh, we did three Smithsonian's, the uh, Natural History, Air. Air and Space, and then Samantha wanted to do the art, uh-huh. art one, so, which was good. She got a lot of good pictures there, so that was good. We did, and then the second day we did a lot of the monuments, yeah. not all of them. We. <laughs> We opted out of Jefferson because well, well, we. A I've miles. never seen Jefferson either because it's like out of the way. Yeah, yeah. it's the one that's like it's the like other side of Tidal like Basin. A, yeah, it's like it's like there's a lake or like a pond, this huge pond, and you mm-hmm. gotta. It's it's way out of the way. We got a picture of it, mm-hmm. and um, because I didn't plan this, but it just so happened to have the cherry blossoms were that in they blue, were so, in yeah. yeah. So okay. that was nice. really really nice. nice cherry blossoms. So I had I only Sweet. I only. One mistake out of the whole trip. Well, w- one and a half. The half was a learning lesson. I've, now I've learned. <laughs> uh, the, well, I guess both of them were. But the one terrifying moment I had was uh, it would have been our second trip on the train because we had a service from our hotel shuttle service that ran every half hour to Ronald Reagan Airport. And then we could get the train in from there into D.C., Mm. Another five minutes. So the whole trip was like 15 minutes. It was pretty, okay. pretty sweet. So after we had done that trip once, on the second time, I didn't really know how everything works yet, but we were coming down the stairs and the yellow train was there. That was the train we had been taking. So I kind of hurried up. I got in New York City mode and like, you know, hurried and scrambled. And I get, I get on and the doors go to close. Samantha's not on yet. Oh. So I put my arm out, oh. and the doors oh. slam on my arm, oh. and I'm like, "Oh my god! If the train goes, I'm gonna uh, lose my arm." You know, what this I mean? story would have been better if you like had the whole time you had like your. So you know, I jerk my arm in, and instead of the elevator thing, which I thought they would open all the way, and mm. I could get her on, mm. and then they. It like opened enough to get my arm out of there and close, and pff, train takes off. Oh, <laughs> oh no! Like, uh, 
so there's these two Jamaican guys, and they're looking in like kind of disbelief at yeah. first. We're like, "Don't worry, man, it's no problem." And they're telling me to, "What you be thinking, <laughs> man?" <laughs> they're telling me to get off at the next stop and then you get back the on. Stop, and I'm not brother. confident about how that's all going to work and if I'm going to get it. So there's a right when it pulls out, you go over a bridge over the water. And it only lasts out. a couple minutes. <laughs> <laughs> well, once you hit the tunnel, I wouldn't have any phone service. Mm. So while I had service, I called her and I said, look, the guys on this train said another one comes in like five minutes. Stay right where you are. Get on the next one. And, and I'll beat you at Ronald Reagan. And, and it all worked out. But I did, I did, I did lose my daughter for about five Oof. minutes. It's going to be consequences <laughs> and repercussions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that, that was yeah, a little... That would have been scary. Yeah. Oof. But she's 14. She's yeah. getting closer to all being, right. you know, a little adult. So Oof. it was okay. We were good. We were good. <laughs> and it was all done. Oh, but it, it did. The guys were telling me because I couldn't... I was with the little panic kind of going. Uh -huh. I, I, I couldn't fathom what they were trying to say, but... Because the train starts and stops and in the exact same position, if you get on and off, it's going to be the same car. You know, in my mind, I couldn't imagine that I would easily get onto the next train and it would be the same car she was on. Like I would, because you can't pass through the cars like you can on an Amtrak. Mm. You know, mm. so. But I stood right where I got off, and sure enough, boop, right where she got on is where she gets off, and it's the same exact place. You know what I mean? So, uh, okay. so it worked. The guys were right. <laughs> so it was, and she found it, there was a nice woman that saw the whole thing transpire uh, that yeah. she, she was talking to. So it, it, that part yeah. of it all worked oh, out. That's good. At least there's friendly people there. Yeah. Well, that's one of the things I can <laughs> definitely say is people were generally more friendly there than I'm used to around yeah. here in New yeah. York, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Or New York City, <laughs> New York definitely. City is the biggest. Yeah. 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 I mean, they, and the, I mean, the trains were really clean, yeah. you know. In New York, sometimes I'm, I think I don't like hanging on to the yeah. poles yeah. and stuff, thinking about all the <laughs> yeah, people. Yeah, like touching anything <laughs> in New York City. <laughs> so, it, you know, that it, it was pretty nice. Yeah. It, 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 it also, it's the, the area of Washington you're in, too. Yeah, because I remember people telling me how nice it was, but on our way in, we hit a couple nasty spots. Oh there. yeah, there yeah, are some. I hear, yeah, I hear you. There's there are some, some like make you some know wrong turns. Down yeah. you, you make a couple turns down there, your bodies are dropping. Yeah. yeah, and that leads me to the other half a mistake, which wasn't a full one. On the way down, I just put the hotel in the GPS and went with it. Mm. And it brought me through new work. And but new what did I say before you left? All the tolls. I asked him, I said, all the uh, bullshit. did you plan, uh, you know, did you plan out something? He goes, yeah. no, I'm just going to put in the GPS and we'll go down there. He said, no, good luck with that. No, he was like, <laughs> oh, you're going to do it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so that trip, it felt like I was in traffic 90% of the time. You know, I never got that, ooh, I'm on the highway, I can put cruise control on. Uh -huh. Felt like I was always in traffic. Yeah. And I hate that city traffic shit and but i still haven't paid for one thing yet <laughs> is i got because of the way they have the easy pass lanes now mm -hmm. you don't have any idea excuse me while i whip this out you're going through tolls sometimes right there's no toll booth there's jersey no yeah, yeah it was the jersey so, so anyway because jersey they're uh they're uh, um easy, easy pass. pass you know you just you, oh yeah, you almost go like full speed through it. Yeah, you're well, like you're I basically did. yeah. You're, ba <laughs> you're basically you just go through and, and you I just don't go have an easy right pass. <laughs> yeah, you basically so, just go through. I get off of the New Jersey Turnpike hmm. and I'm at the booth and I hand her my New York State ticket and she goes, "Didn't you get one for New Jersey?" And I said, "No." You know, I, so I had to pay for the whole <laughs> New Jersey Turnpike. <laughs> How much that cost you? It wasn't too bad. It was like 15 bucks, I think, something like that. And then it was too late that night to call the New York State Thruway. So the next morning before we went out, I called them right away. Because one year in Newark, that happened to me. And it was like a 25-cent toll, and they tacked on like a $50 charge. <laughs> I was like, I don't want that to happen. They're like, no, no, you, we got a picture of the play. We'll just send you the toll. So that, that's the only part of the trip isn't paid for yet. <laughs> the fines <laughs> but i forgot while i was down there yeah, right? my my buddy that i uh, used to work with here lives down there and he invited me to stay another day we had plans we had to get back but he said take 81 so we took like 81 to 88. to 81 to 88 
and it's like a two yeah. lane highway the whole way. Yeah. No tolls, no I've traffic, no nothing. Is the way to go. When the only downfall is yeah. you yeah. have to get off at an exit if you want like gas or food. Yeah. It's not like they have rest yeah, yeah, stops. Yeah. That's about yeah. the only downfall. Other than that, well, and when we got closer to home, there's like a part of that road that's like. <laughs> but it was definitely a better because if you gps either way hmm. the 88s but an hour longer yeah but you lose an hour in traffic the other sure. way anyway yeah. so yeah. Pff, i'll yeah. take that other i'll take Everybody, 88 anytime talk to the drives like when they're going south they go 88 to yeah whatever that's the way 81 or that's the way i've go. never done it but i've heard that's the way definitely the way to go and i saw that i actually passed by I do that i, I was gonna say we went to pittsburgh we went we went all the way around the Buffalo. Yeah, yeah. I've never down tried that going down and across. Me and Renee were going to try that last time we went, but I was too scared because I guess that highway that goes across Pennsylvania is very, they call it like one of the deadliest highways in the United States. Ooh. There's a lot of accidents on that. On that, that was road, another reason why we didn't stay another so night. They were predicting snow the yeah. next day. I didn't want to get... Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, and that was the other thing on the way down there was raining. So they, being behind tractor trailers in the rain is like with that one. With a shit storm coming. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's that? Who is that? Uh, <laughs> Randy Quaid and Kingpin. Yeah, okay. <laughs> when he, when, when uh, Woody Harrelson and him go out to the car and they're trying to sneak away from the girl, and she's there, and he's and he's like something about a cloud. There's a cloud coming. He's trying to tell Randy Quaid, and he looks and goes, "Oh shit!" He goes, "Really? There's a shit cloud coming?" He gets in, and they go off to talk, and he he turns around and goes, "Hey, everybody! There's a shit cloud coming for your lives." <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> uh, I was watching. Uh, it was the one. day I was watching Kingpin, remember? Yeah, it was like, oh, I got to remember that one. That's yeah, a good one. A good one. <laughs> I had like, a, I had like a, a note on my phone about this long full of them. You know, I, you know, I love to revisit Tombstone. Mm-hmm. And there's some great sayings that I wish. I got a ton of them. Oh, do you? No, because I got a ton of them, but they never. It's not super funny. It's, they're not. Yeah, that they're fun. They're good. It, in, out of context, they're difficult. Yeah, yeah. Especially I to drop them. them in on, you know. know. Like that one's easy because. You know. <laughs> it's just funny. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> Run oh, and, for and your uh, lives. Old Town uh, Alexandria is beautiful. Yeah. Beautiful. And uh, there's a lot of like uh, walking bike paths and stuff to get around. And a lot of people are fit. Hmm. Yeah. Why would you have to say this? Walking bike paths as if because they're really not on the bike. <laughs> on what walking I would bike walk. on what I would call a bike path. There were signs every now and then that said no bicycles. You know what I mean? So they there's parts that turn into walking only. So you have to get off and walk your bike, I guess. I don't know. That's why I thought it was weird. <laughs> you know, this doesn't mean weird. <laughs> Let's quote bike path. Bike path. It's no bike path if I can't ride my bike on it. Back goes Serrano. He'll need a rocket up his ass to catch this one. <laughs> but that's where I did get that one picture. The, it says stay straight. Yeah. And I got a picture of me bent over. <laughs> <laughs> I am not gay, senor. You just make me do gay things. Oh, and I will give a shout out to the first night restaurant. I saw I, you did some check-ins. Yep. I went, oh, so fantastic the beers. Yeah. The, the food was fantastic. <laughs> I <laughs> reserved ca- cash for a, a fancy night out. And the last night we went to the wharf, which was mm. nice. But the, the Bilbo Baggins was the yeah, name yeah, of the place. Yeah, Bilbo Baggins. Went. I saw that. One. It was fantastic. What the hell was that? Was that tacos? Yeah, it was it tacos. Was, yeah, it was like it was no, no really other taco good. I've had in my life. It was fabulous. That's what it comes down to. <laughs> oh, the cheapest God. one. Yeah. Restaurant gets the, the oh, best reviews. So good. Like it wasn't ground meat. It was like strips of ground beef. horse. Like, <laughs> and it was so nicely barbecued. It had like a sweetness to it. Mm. And then with all the fresh vegetables it had on it, and plus like the different types of cheese on it. Oh my God, it was so good. Even the guacamole wow. was so good. I was going to have her scoop it up into a little cup and let me take it home and see if I can find some extra chips to finish it off. 
Hmm. Oh, it was so Trips good. to finish it off. And th- both those beers I had were fabulous. Yeah. Oh. Fabulous. Oh, yeah. Fabulous. <laughs> Yeah, I really enjoyed that place. Did you do any fart licking while you were there? <laughs> I, fart, didn't, I didn't do fart. any. No fart licking. <laughs> fart licking? Did I miss fart something licking. here? Yeah. You are creepy as shit. Fucking <laughs> <Locking laughs> dead right there. <laughs> <laughs> you are creepy as shit. <laughs> Megan. <laughs> what, what, is, what is the fart licking? I remember fart licking. That was my word of the day. Oh, <laughs> Heart lick. Heart lick. Interval training. <laughs> we did walk, like because yeah. they also had a shuttle that brought you down to King Street, and mm-hmm. we d- debated about using it. But Samantha's into photography, so we got a lot of great pictures. You know, walking. Mm-hmm. So it was good for us to get out and walk a little bit. It was kind of it was nice weather. It's a little warmer than here. There wasn't any snow. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> you hit the few days that there wasn't down there. Mm-hmm. I don't know what this shit storm coming is, yeah, but everybody's talking one. about 70 hey, degrees tomorrow. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, you said it. I, I was like, that's perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's pretty much what this weekend's going to be. <laughs> I know. It is. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. Yeah, as you usual, they were are talking, creepy as shit. They were, about, they were talking about it being beautiful this weekend. Yeah, earlier I know. This week, yeah, they went from like, like seventy-one to like thirty-seven. It's like it's Saturday be, literally right. went from seventy-one at the beginning of the week, and now it's supposed to be thirty-seven like, tomorrow right. or well, Sunday or yeah. whatever. Right. Oh yeah, it's like and fuck. Now, and now we have a freaking uh, shit storm. The shit storm. <laughs> hey everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. I like the cloud part of that because it. Changes it up just enough to make it even funnier. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> I like the music. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my finger hit the button by accident. What were you saying? <laughs> oh, so what? You're- All right, you primitive screwheads. Listen oh, up. I remember what you were going to say. We're like halfway through. <laughs> you can find us at Bob and John's podcast at gmail.com, on buzzsprout.com, and iTunes, or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or Facebook Live. And on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page, if they're still around, at <laughs> Bob and John's Super <laughs> Duper Variety Power Hour. And on Untapped to Jay's Brew and Brewmaster Pick. Wherever. And at 151online.com. For all your 151 needs, um, we got a really cool new banner. I think yes. Uh, I think we might be joining Spotify. All right. I just have to figure out the ifs, ands, or buts about getting us on there. But they sent me some stuff about Spotify for for our music podcast. Oh, oh okay. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. Rocco Serrano, he'll need a rocket up his ass to catch this one. But you were saying, I think before we got off on a tangent, um, you were saved up for something on your last day. Oh, for the nice, you know, I prepared a yeah. nice place. So we went to a seafood restaurant. Oh, okay. So it was a little more expensive, oh, but, all right. but Bilbo Baggins blew it away. Oh, all right. That was all that. Bilbo Baggins. I mean, they were pretty nice. They gave me they gave me a pretty st- st- steep Stiff. discount <laughs> <laughs> because, like, they didn't turn the meal quick. And I don't know. I I'm accustomed to a fancy meal taking a while. Yeah. It was like you know our <laughs> food hadn't come out. It only been like 15 minutes. Samantha and I had lots to talk about. I didn't feel like it was late. And the waiter was like, "Oh, I'm so sorry. You got the manager over. Oh, I'm so gave sorry. us a discount. So I mean, they were good to us. Mm. Gave me a free beer. Mm-hmm. So." I mean, and and the food was good. Don't get me wrong, but you know, considering in my mind, I took the cheaper road the first night. It was really hard not to go back there. But you, on vacation, you don't want to keep going back to the same place. Yeah, yeah. But uh, it have. was just so good. Go back <laughs> twice wouldn't have been bad. Yeah, no. All right, we got to take care of some business, and then we'll get to some gaming. In your face, all over the place. We're online 24 7, 24 7. You're listening to the hottest internet station. Bob and John, Super Duper Variety Power. <laughs> Shut up! I am the master of the clit. Remember this fucking face. Wherever you see clit, you'll see this fucking face. I make that shit work. No one rules a clit like me. Not this little fuck. 
None of you little fucks out there. I am the clit commander. When it comes down to business, this is what I do. I pinch it like this. Oh, you little fuck. And I rub my nose. <laughs> all right, you primitive <laughs> screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimney. <laughs> I did this all fucked up. <laughs> you can find us at Bob and John's podcast at gmail.com on buzzsprout.com and iTunes or loose and buttery on the twitter and instagram or facebook live and on our youtube channel on our facebook page at bob and john super duper variety power hour also on untapped where i'm going for 2500 i got a ways to go we're going there we're gonna get there i'm going for that too but i got a ways to go yeah <laughs> and we'll go to 151online.com to check us out uh Check out some good music, 151online.com, and coming soon to Spotify. We will be this podcast coming All soon right. to. Sounds like a job for Suck Machine. How'd you know my high school nickname? <laughs> Suck Machine. Oh, it's game night. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's game night on Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power. Tonight we'll be playing Utter Nonsense. Utter Nonsense. Rule number four. Never talk about your problems, because men don't really listen or care. Some men care. No, some men pretend to care. We ask you how you're doing, it's just guy code for let me stick my dick in your ass. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? I see a lot of uh, these uh, other uh, <coughs> podcasts, and uh, th- there's these two guys that eat a lot of really weird shit. So maybe we should get some weird shit. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> that would make it easier. <laughs> <laughs> like they made pretzels with Pepto-Bismol. Ugh. <laughs> I don't want to go home with a stomach ache. One more peep out of you, and you are grounded, mister, and I am not joking. Peep. You are creepy as shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they make it hard to keep up with The Walking Dead. It's like they don't let you catch up to the you know shows. I've been called a lot of things, Steve. A loser, a knob, a turd burglar. You know what a turd burglar is? <laughs> it's somebody who steals turds. <laughs> <laughs> turd burglar. I've been called a lot of things, Steve. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to play some oh, other nonsense right. here. We have to select the initial nonsense judge. Um, how did we do this last time? We did it time? different. We did it a little oh, it's different. The person who has deemed to be the stinkiest feet. That's always John. Yeah, what, yeah I always <laughs> win. <laughs> okay, the nonsense just deals seven phrase cards. Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. And that has the rest of the directions on it, so. Deal seven freeze cards. Oh, and then you need these two. I think John. I think we did it with all of us, though, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah, uh, I think so. Like each, yeah, I think we did. Oh, uh, the rest of the directions are on there. Or didn't? I don't know what we did. We always have to change the directions a little bit with these games to do it with the three of us on here. What's it say? It's too or let me read too much. <laughs> Can't read. Once the accent card's revealed. All right, so give us seven cards. We'll start there. Everybody? Yeah. Seven cards. Sounds like a job for a suck machine. <laughs> oh. How'd you know my high school nickname? <laughs> Wait. Once the accent card. Oh, no, I think it's only two people. And then we rotate. Rotate! I don't know. We'll try it with all three of us. Who cares? Rule number four. Oh, we did it. Never talk about your problems, because men don't really listen or care. Some men care. No, some men pretend to care. 
When we ask you how you're doing, it's just guy code for let me stick my Let's dick in your it. ass. Oh. <sighs> I think we just did two of us, if I remember right. Did yeah. We? Okay. Yeah, and then whoever wins gets the next yeah. round, and then we go from there. Yeah, that's, I think, how we did it. But I'm looking at these, and I'm like, some of these aren't accents. No, he's got to tell us what. Yeah, accent. I tell. Oh, that's what it is. That's yeah. yeah, remember, and then whoever and then wins, whoever wins, gets to do the next uh, yeah. deal. So the word is helium. That's the accent. Yeah, that's the accent. Good. And we just got to pick one. We have to pick a. <sighs> okay, I got mine. Go ahead. Bob, you have your scorecard gun. You are creepy as shit. <laughs> do 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 do. My finger accidentally hit the button. Sorry, my finger hit the button by accident. What were you saying? <laughs> do, 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 do. Do, do, do. Ready? Gilliam. Want me to go first? Yeah, go ahead if you're ready. Um. Your call is very important to us. Please stay on the line until the next available sunrise. <laughs> Please stop talking. I want a lampshade, not a relationship. <laughs> want a lampshade, not a relationship? I'm just reading the card. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's a tough one. That's a draw. Got to do something else. Have another one. Another <laughs> one. So we'll get another card. Another accent or another card? You want to do another accent? Yeah, pick another accent. Why not? All right. <laughs> Chewbacca. <laughs> How do you speak, though? Oh. Well, make it a short one, that's for sure. Yeah. Uh, here we go. HGTV is my porn. It's your porn? <laughs> I don't know. <sighs> <laughs> oh, shut oh, up. North Korea and my ex are tied to cut the crazy stale. <laughs> <laughs> Give that one to Jay. All right. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, okay. Oh, so do we right, keep so the ca our cards? No, in? no, Good no. Deal. Just put them in a separate pile, so we don't put them in a separate pile. Yeah. Need those cards. You know, Linda's out sitting one? in her car talking on her phone, and that's why he's barking. Uh, no, because he can't see. All right, seven each. No. You know what he's barking? This. Hey, everybody! There's a shit cloud coming. <laughs> Run for your lives! <laughs> We're just not listening. <laughs> I let him out, and I let him sniff around like a jerk for an hour out there. <laughs> Should be happy. What the hell he's smelling? I don't know. Oh, my poop used to be here. Shut up! <laughs> wow, this is professional. <laughs> okay. <sighs> All right. Accent is... <laughs> Valley Girl. You want to go? You go. Like, when I grow up, I want to be middle management for my local cable provider. <laughs> like, I just had the best workout standing on the elliptical and texting with Heather. Uh, Bob wins. <laughs> yeah, that's Bob. <laughs> I do. I give good valley, girl. You did. Yeah. <laughs> that one used to be easier when there was that movie. Was, right. Remember there was a movie I think it was called <coughs> Valley Girl Clueless Cards They were kind of like that In Clueless Oh what do I got to do White cards here 
Here's what do I got to do with these? Here's these. Seven of those. Seven. Seven. There's those. Seven. 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 Right from the top, can I pick? Whenever, wherever, however. Redneck. <laughs> it's always everybody's fun one. Oh, do you want to put that over there? Oh yeah, throw that in the used pile. That's what she said. <laughs> I am the master of the clit. Remember this fucking face. Wherever you see Clint, you'll see this fucking face. I make that shit work. No one rules a clit like me. Not this little fuck. None of you little fucks out there. I am the clit commander. When it comes down to business, this is what I do. I pinch it like this. <laughs> oh, you little fuck. <laughs> and I rub my nose. <laughs> I think you should go first then. Jay's up. My wife likes to remind me how simple things were when we were just brother and sister. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be hard to beat. <laughs> I know. Perfect I don't have card. anything like that. Perfect card for the first <laughs> right accent. I got another good one too. You'll have to do that after. The hardest part about being in an interracial relationship is selecting the Instagram filter. <laughs> I got to give it to Jay, though. That was good. Right. What was the other one, Jay? When I was your age, Grandpa Richard was the only good dick in town. <laughs> 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 oh, more, more. <laughs> I do it. I got, actually, I got some more. Keep going. I don't like things I don't understand, like airplanes and vegans. <laughs> you are creepy <laughs> as shit. <laughs> all right. <laughs> He's like, oh, all right. You know, that was a pretty good Halloween costume if my damn bat came in time. Damn, damn bat. bat. Yeah. Damn bat. Negan. Damn bat. Damn bat. I like my Halloween costume, too. I was happy with mine. Jon Snow? Yeah. Yeah, when are we getting some more Game of Thrones here? We've been waiting. 2019. Oh, yeah. Another year and a half. Jesus. So keep your panties on. That's what I've been watching. Jesus. <laughs> It'll be the geriatric version of <laughs> Game of Thrones. You know, something big coming. No. Just... I can't wait for more Vikings. I know. That should be uh, coming soon, back soon. June, soon. right? June? Soon. June. June. Gin. 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 We're, we're all caught up now. Renee's all caught up with me. Woo. We're all Vikingized now. I couldn't believe how much she got into Vikings. It was hilarious. Oh, that's good. She, I knew she'd like it because she loved Game of Thrones. So that's kind of on the same token, but it's more uh, <laughs> more uh, original, historical. <laughs> this one should be easy. Stuffy nose. I shouldn't even. Re I gotta stick with my first. Tell me to go, or you want to go? Go ahead. Uh, yeah, I fiddle with my panties when I'm nervous. Flossing with satin calms me down. <laughs> <laughs> based, based on all the sniffing, the majority of this kindergarten class has been blowing lines. <laughs> sniffling. It was sniffling. I thought that was the good one. I couldn't make it work. Mm. Oh, it was sniffling. I thought it was stuffy nose. Based on all sniffling. It wasn't a good accent anyway. Read Should another card, both of you. Okay. I can't make up my mind. Pick an accent. Want another accent? Okay. Pick an accent. Give me another accent. <clears throat> Grumpy old man. 
<laughs> that would have been good for. I fiddle with my panties <laughs> when I'm nervous. <laughs> You ready? <laughs> okay, I'll go. My wife is dead in a mysterious cruise ship accident involving an ice cream machine. <laughs> I don't know, you know. I used to think I had all kinds of accents. It turns out I don't have any. <laughs> I pick up his poop. But only because my dog is such a great wingman. <laughs> I gotta go with Bob. <laughs> John's dying. I know. I know. I had another good one. The best part about being adopted is hooking up at the family reunions. <laughs> oh, yeah. Never thought of that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's not even go there. Yikes. Why is my. You Stand. are creepy as shit. Keep drooping. <laughs> Droopy. Oh, here's your gold cards. Gold card. Does don't dogs get tired of barking? No, I don't think they do. Yeah, I don't know. Who would think? Nerd. Doesn't help when I do that either. I've been called a lot of things, Steve. A loser, a knob, a turd burglar. You know what a turd burglar is? It's somebody who steals turds. <laughs> Juan. Love me some global entry. <laughs> this I had another one don't make me step out of my safe space and hurt you <laughs> <laughs> Jay got it yeah what are we playing to I don't know till the dog Three. starts barking <laughs> Three. <laughs> I love uh, it. it's going fast we'll uh, go to five all right Then I can go after that. I can go up and assassinate the dog. <coughs> Choke him. Kill you. Choke. Sounds like a job for a suck machine. How'd you know my high school nickname? How'd you know my high school nickname? How'd you know my high school nickname? <laughs> school nickname? <laughs> Must be all the pressure. I can't. <laughs> you can't, uh, can't perform. Too much pressure on you? Yeah. yeah. Perform under pressure. Yeah. I was going to say, we haven't done that beer game in a while either. We'll yeah. That in one of these days. Okay. Accent is... <laughs> this is almost unfair. What is Santa it? Santa Claus. <laughs> Bob's favorite holiday. <laughs> <laughs> All right. You want me to go? Sure. Ho, ho, ho. Pulling out is ridiculously hard. <laughs> driving sex and dr during sex and drunk driving. Uh huh. Merry Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> Ho, 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 ho. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. Border Patrol and all the president's men cheered as Humpty couldn't get up there again. Ho, ho, ho. <laughs> you give it to John. John, Finally it to John. scores a fucking point. <laughs> all right. John gets the... 
Cards the, the discarded <laughs> ones. I was going to say, at least I don't have to do this when I keep losing. <laughs> but what you don't see is all the years of hard work and dedication it took to make me the happy-go-lucky, drunken ass wrangler I am today. <laughs> ass wrangler. Ass wrangler. Drunken ass wrangler. Oh. I think that's your problem, John. Excuse me while I whip this out. Ooh. I think that's why you're single. You're not around women while you're hammered as much anymore, so. You know, <laughs> there's reasons for everything. Baby. <laughs> Google Gaga. <laughs> Is asshole bleaching still a thing? <laughs> <laughs> Who does that, by the way? I don't. <laughs> Drunken ass wranglers. <laughs> no, I meant the physician. <laughs> hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. <laughs> Run for your lives. <laughs> Ugh, these are all crappy. Ugh. I grow up, I want to be a paid protester. Ah. Oh, yeah. A what, protester? Paid protester. All right, let's give another yeah. one a try. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> These are all crappy. What happens when you got two? You can do either one or one or the other. There's two on here. Oh, what's it say? Uh, oh, <laughs> it's my choice. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happens. <laughs> or... <laughs> On the bottom it says cartoon character. We'll go with that. Cartoon character? Bob loves those. Mm -hmm. And Jay pulls some good shit out of his ass on those too. I like when they do cartoon characters. <laughs> mm. 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 Yeah, Hitler kind of ruined it for everyone named Adolf. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's, that's true. That's true. Got something brewing there. I'm trying to think here. Bleep, 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 your infinity scarf is so baller. Bleep, bleep, bleep. <laughs> I don't know. That's all I can do. Whatever. Bob, I'll give it to Bob. Bob. Bob's got me there. Oh, tied with Jay. That's horrible. Yeah, we're going to four now because we five's going to take us way too longer. <laughs> so basically, it's going to come down to me and Jay. You want to? Why don't we just do one more for? for you can't catch up. What? Don't ever say that. <laughs> so give us. Don't you ever seven. take away hope from me? That's the one thing you do best in life is destroy people's dreams. Right under your feet. That's what Bob does. Sorry, my just finger hit the button by dreams. accident. What were you saying? You'll never catch up. Dreams. Sorry, oh, I'm on a roll the there. The by accident. What were you saying? Well, okay, let me put it in another way, all right? Hold, let me put it another way. Back goes Serrano. He'll need a rocket up his ass to catch this one. <laughs> Dream smasher. <laughs> he is. That's what he does. He gives no hope in life. <laughs> we we don't want to have a three-hour podcast either. Three Every once in a while, I got to call him out on it, tour. too. Now, you'll never do that. <laughs> no, fuck you. <laughs> Batman. Batman. I'm trying to get my Batman. Jen! <laughs> Wait a minute. Does this look circumcised or uncircumcised to you? <laughs> He'd have to remove his cod piece. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's the cod piece. I'm trying. That's the cowl. <laughs> Who says he was looking at his own? I don't know. Jen! <laughs> Jen! Looks like you've been doing squats. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like you've been doing squats. <laughs> this is my favorite one right there. Jen! 
Have you been going to the gym? <laughs> Looks like you've been doing squats. <laughs> Jay's more method. He has to get into the yes, Batman. Yes, <laughs> yeah. To channel his inner Batman. <laughs> he pulls out a cowl and a cape. <laughs> hey, I'm all in black. <laughs> hey, yeah, throw a cape on there. You're just run right about there. You are creepy as shit. <laughs> I should have my bat here for that. Point it at the camera. <laughs> do, 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 do. Yeah. No. I think I have a couple of good ones here. <laughs> oh, I told you she was out in the driveway. On the phone. I knew it. Granny loves it when I give her a good sponge bath. <laughs> <laughs> J1 <laughs> Ruin my dream shot <laughs> You dream crusher I have a couple good ones Yeah but you really worked that one out I have a couple good ones I, couple <laughs> good. I checked your mom's vagina So many times I became the mayor Of Foursquare <laughs> <laughs> These thin mints Aren't making me any thinner I'm jealous that my black friends look good in track suits. <laughs> These adult diapers should do the job until the Apple store opens. Why are there so many crusty socks underneath your bed, Joffrey? <laughs> I was on the piss and gobby when I fed myself balls up with the bobbies. <laughs> All those years playing Galaga made me a finger-banging master. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, on that note. <laughs> Rule number four. Never talk about your problems, because men don't really listen or care. Some men care. No, some men pretend to care. When we ask you how you're doing, it's just guy code for let me stick my dick in your ass. Oh. All right, you primitive screwheads, listen up. Time to make the chimmy fucking changas. You can find us at Bob and John's podcast at gmail.com, on com, and iTunes, or at Loose and Buttery on the Twitter and Instagram or Facebook Live. <laughs> And on our YouTube channel and our Facebook page at Bob and John's Super Duper Variety Power Hour. Also on Untapped at Jay's Brew and Brew Mr. Pick. And go to uh, 151online.com if you want to check out some good music by 151. And we're soon coming to Spotify, hopefully. Hopefully. Coming all over it. Hey, all everybody, over. there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your lives. <laughs> <laughs> what did we learn, John? That I forgot to say hello to Greg. Oh, there we go. Hey. Oh. What did we learn, Jay? Uh, John didn't do his research on whiskey. You're right. I should have dug deeper. You're right. Yep. Or bring any for sharing. Uh, I can do. I sh- could. Uh, it's a good idea. Oh. I do have it available. Jesus. Oh. Touching myself. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm touching myself tonight. Oh, I wish I was Beyonce. <laughs> uh, I learned that John woke up angry. Not too bad. Not too, <laughs> Not bad. too bad. You said you woke up angry. Well, I did have some rough dreams for a nap. <laughs> <laughs> you are creepy as shit. <laughs> yeah. uh, all right, let's get out of here. Say good night, guys. Good night, night guys. guys. Stadler? Yeah, what? Is that it? Yes, it's over. How'd you like it? I don't know. I slept through the whole thing. Well, you didn't miss much. Chico! Hey, everybody, there's a shit cloud coming. Run for your life.